Today we're going to take a trip up to Mount Rainier since it's such a beautiful clear day. Stuff coming. Well, here we are at Mount Rainier. I guess you can see it to the background there. Absolutely gorgeous day. It's probably 70 some degrees right here now. So I don't think you can get a better day than this with some gorgeous pictures of Mount Rainier. Christoph's really impressed with the size of that mountain. And there she is in all of her glory. Well, that's Paradise Lodge. This place was built in 1907. I think there was a fire and it was rebuilt in 1917. We were just talking to somebody in there. This place, this is the end of September, September 27th, I think. It closes October 1st, and then they start built, boarding the windows and all up. And they said in the wintertime, the snow is over the top of the roof. It gets over 40 feet of snow, and this lodge is buried in the wintertime. But then they dig it out in the spring, and it's open all summer and fall but closes again october 1st there's the fireplace it must be really nice in here in the winter time all they did do close the beginning of october so it's getting ready to close soon but just imagine a roaring fire there it's where you check in and then a little gift shop and kind of a little deli over there Here's the outer part of the lodge, all custom furniture, and the woodwork is just fabulous. Here's the Paradise Lodge. This was built back in 1907, caught on fire, rebuilt in 1917. It is now over 100 years old. We're looking at the peak of Mount Rainier, which is about 13,500 feet. And at the lodge and where we're standing now is about 9,500 feet. Okay, here we are on the trail to Mount Rainier, the waterfall trail, which is supposed to be the easiest one. As you can see, we're huffing and puffing a little bit as we're going up the trail. But you can see Mount Rainier to our back and I'm going to spin around here so you kind of get the sight of the whole trail and what we've come up and the landscape of it. Oh, there's Jean in the background there. And Mount Rainier, we're heading up to, what's it called, Glacier Vista? I think. That's our final destination. We'll let you know if we make it that far. Okay. Got a bird. What do you think they, what you say they were? Carnegie? Well, that was a marmoth. They make a whistling sound. That's how Whistler got its name because you see a whole lot of them up there. It's amazing he came that close to me. This is one of the hiking trails, a uh, pretty neat trail. It winds right up around the side of the mountain. You go up to a place called Glacier View, it, it was. It was a pretty neat overlook looking up the mountain. Uh, one thing about Mount Rainier, uh, you can see it from the Seattle area all the way down to Olympia, Washington, which is the capital of Washington. And you can probably see it for about 40 miles, 30 to 40 miles on a clear day. Uh, it's hard to find a clear day where you can get up to the mountain and see it. We were up here before, and there was so much fog and everything else. When you got up to the lodge, you really couldn't even see pass of it or see anything. But we were fortunate in the uh, beginning of September, got a clear blue day. So we packed up everything and headed on up here to take advantage of it, and I tell you what, it is just a, a spectacular view. Well, we made it up this far, 
is after four, and we've not died yet. There's some hikers coming up the hill. Well, here's where I made it to. Well, actually a little bit farther up to Glacier View Trail. Jean went up ahead. She's the real hiker. I kind of stayed back here to keep an eye on the base camp. Well, if you're ever in the area on a clear day, make sure you stop and see Mount Rainier. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss an episode. We love your comments, and thanks for watching.